like what made you switch from cs to da uh, basically i had more interest in last year in cs what was your rank like uh, last year i got around 1800 rank in gcs like how was your journey i just followed the uh, uh, topics specifically in gate da syllabus you f- like you feel like you're less confident about this and which which topics are your favorite ones uh, mostly the subject you talks are my favorite <laughs> uh, how like how was your feedback for like uh, what is your feedback for like shrinivas subjects like ai and uh, warehousing yes sir uh, it was uh, in depth and uh, apart from this uh, what do you feel like uh, the questions in the quizzes uh, like were they helpful and and also the test series if you have any feedback to give like about the test series and the quizzes the weekly quizzes were great like one piece of advice you want to give uh, to the future aspirants you can give for me or i didn't feel much uh, trouble at that time Uh, hi everyone uh, i'm jay bansal welcome back to the ml hub and uh, we are doing topper stocks and today we have harsh raja with us he recently secured all india rank 80 in gate data science and ai 2025 uh, so we will just uh, know about all the harsh's like experiences how he prepared uh, uh, during the gate journey and like know everything about him so harsh why don't you introduce yourself tell us like uh, where you are right now like and uh, which year you are studying and like yeah like just introduce yourself thank you sir uh uh hello uh, i am harsh raja i am currently a final year uh, btech student uh, in uh, itr so uh, which is located in odisha uh, uh in a pre, in my pre final year uh, i was also preparing for gate cs uh, and this year when uh, they uh, announced uh, uh, gate da uh, i enrolled for uh, Desert course and uh, then uh, it uh, everything followed. Okay, got it, got it. So last year in your third year you were targeting gate computer science. So you are from computer yes. science stream, like in your B Tech. Yes, sir. I was following RBSL course. Uh, mm-hmm. Then I saw your course and enrolled. Okay, okay, got it. So like, what made you switch from CS to DA? <laughs> Uh, basically, I had more interest in maths and uh, stuff. That's why I thought maybe mm-hmm. I should give it a try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you also like love math, is it? And like yeah, that's what I feel as well. Like DA is all about uh, maths. Yes. So sir. yeah, if you're good at math, uh, you'll you'll do great. Like, and you also showed the same thing. Okay. Yes, sir, <laughs> your playlist was very good. Uh, mm-hmm. I used to do all the live classes. That's why uh, yeah. uh, whether How small a doubt I get used to uh, resolve, and everyone's doubt. Yeah. In fact, every other teacher used to do that in the live classes. Yeah. So, yeah. So. I re- I remember like uh, you are the like only one which I remember exactly from the live classes. Like uh, you used to you used to ask a lot of doubts, man. <laughs> and that that helped me a lot. That helped the entire class a lot. So like some if someone watches the recorded lecture and if uh, people like you have like asked all the doubts it helps them as well because generally the same doubts everyone is having but people are just shy and uh, you used to speak out each and everything which you had and like that that was amazing and i think like uh, the those interactions helped uh, helped you as well and helped me teach better as well so like thanks for that <laughs> thank you sir okay okay So, uh, like last year in CS, what was your rank? Like uh, uh, last year, I got around eighteen hundred rank in Gate CS, fifty two marks. Okay, so this year you did not write Gate CS at all. No, sir. I wrote Gate CS and got AR four five hundred four rank. Oh, great, great man! Like so, you like are a, like topper in both, right? You cracked <laughs> Gate CS as well. But I but but since you got all in your rank eighty, you'll you'll have all the doors like every college is doors open for you for DA, and you also want to build a future in machine learning and deep learning only, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so that will help you a lot. Okay, so we will come to like the college and all uh, at the later part. Firstly, let's focus on your preparation strategy. Like the students watching will will love to know like how you, uh, like how was your gate DA preparation journey? Like which subjects you followed first? and uh, how it went like starting from the uh, beginning of the year so like how was your journey yes, sir. Uh, uh, when the course launched at uh, february 15 i remember because it was just after the uh, gate exam yeah. so i enrolled and uh, uh, 
I just followed the uh, classes lectures uh, live only and um, just used to do my uh, class and uh, then follow your classes. Okay, okay. So you just followed the same sequence like first probability in statistics and uh, whatever was going on, like you just yes, followed sir. the same sequence. I yeah. just was following your resources for the okay. classes. And you didn't uh, go through textbooks and all uh, or like uh, was it required? Uh, or? I didn't think after <laughs> seeing a course I would require to go through. Yeah, yeah. Well, I had to go through textbooks actually. I like see I can solve every problem from Sheldon Ross now. But for the course I had to do it. But for like the subjects which I didn't uh, teach, obviously I didn't uh, see the textbooks. But for ML and uh, probability stats, I remember I had to go through the entire textbooks. So just so, so just so that you guys don't have to, and uh, it's good that it panned out well. Like you guys didn't have to. Uh, uh, go through the textbooks again, and and most and, and on honestly like most of my examples done in class were taken from the text standard textbook uh, textbooks. So yes, sir. Most yeah, of the yeah. Were from book. Yeah. Okay, so you you followed the same sequence and it helped you crack the exam. And uh, which uh, topics specifically in Gate DA syllabus you like you love and which you hate the most? Like uh, you like. Uh, you feel like you're less confident about this, and which which topics are your favorite ones? Uh, mostly the subject you taught are my favorite. Two, uh, <laughs> okay. was probability yeah. statistics and machine learning. I used to love those. Mm -hmm. And uh, LA was a bit problematic for me at start, but I used to get through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, yeah. yeah, yeah. And this year, since like I know that my probability starts series is okay, like like it is seventy five lectures and it's complete. I am thinking of uh, giving a lot of time on LA. Like I'll just uh, this year I'll focus uh, exactly as I did on probability stats last year. I'll do it for linear algebra. Last year I didn't have time to do all the subjects, but now yeah. I think I can refine the remaining portions of ML, like the last one module and uh, LA. I'll, so I'll focus more on that, so that like uh, students have more like uh, comprehensive course to say, like uh, a better recorded course. That's what we are targeting. Uh, we we got some feedback for LA, and uh, we will we will make it brilliant. We'll try to make it better for next year's students as well. Oh, okay. I just missed this time. <laughs> yeah, but like yeah, like so much we can do in one year. See, like the problem was Gate DA started like uh, one year back, and uh, like for the first year there were there were no faculty at all. Last year there were only a few coachings and. Uh, and trust me, like all of them were copying our content only. Like it's it was like that. Like it was like we we were the first ones to open Gate DA coaching and deliver it end to end. So in the in the first year, that's so much we we could have done. Yeah. So the, like there there is so much we can do. And now this year, like we'll try to finish the syllabus. How like how was your feedback for like uh, what is your feedback for like Shrinivas subjects like AI and uh, warehousing? Uh, was it good? Uh Yes, sir. Uh, it was uh, in depth, and uh, apart from space, everything was good for me. Okay, uh, okay. Space was little, but it is manageable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, okay, great. So AI, you found uh, no issues? Uh, uh. No, sir. It was perfect. Means everything was covered in depth, and uh, mm -hmm. what was asked in gate was from the course. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, I also wrote gate, if you know, like, and uh, so I didn't know AI mm -hmm. at all because I didn't teach it. So I just uh, saw his notes like completely uh, one day before exam. That's all, and I also was able to solve all the AI problems. I didn't know anything about it, but yeah, I I I understand like the notes were brilliant, and uh, yes, if you organize a subject, matter, matter. Yeah, 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 okay then yeah. So we will focus on the remaining subjects this year and like make them better as well. So yeah, okay. So like this was about all the content and uh, how did the like. Uh, uh, what do you feel like uh, the questions in the quizzes uh, like were they helpful and and also the test series if you have any feedback to give like about the test series and the quizzes like how were they and how they helped you uh, crack the gate exam because uh, content is one thing and I feel like practice is as important and you also must be feeling the same so what are your yes, thoughts sir. on that uh, the weekly quizzes were great uh, uh, those which were provided at the practice session at the end were very helpful mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because they covered a wide area, a wide range of questions uh, which we didn't uh, came in class and some were familiar, some were unfamiliar, so it helped. 
uh, but for test series there was some uh, some subjects were very good uh, in this and uh, some were not up to the mark right 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 yeah so the again the problem was like uh, the like in test series uh, generally like educators don't create questions on their own in ev- everywhere this happens in quizzes and practice sessions like obviously we picked the questions and in quizzes mm-hmm. like i used to make every question like i just knew like when i was preparing a question like in ml ki this will like blow students minds and i was I, i used to be excited like when i do the practice session i'll explain okay. like what was the thought process and all and i i used to keep the questions and quizzes slightly on like difficult side if you agree like the median score and the average score in quizzes were really low uh, that was all yes, just sir. to prepare you for the exam <laughs> sorry for all the trouble in quizzes but i no, feel sir, like that's a required for that yeah, yeah yeah because see this year the paper was like slightly lengthier and trickier like than last year and yes. uh, questions were not directly like from like formula based as they were in 2024 so that's why i feel like uh, doing the proofs and doing like uh, slightly difficult questions help you in preparing for the exam and this year that's what we are again this is a feedback we got and we are targeting to uh, give the entire test series prepared by us because we will have time so we will focus more on making the test series better so like uh, la and test series is what uh, the feedback we are getting and like we'll we'll try to improve it for the uh, future batches as well uh, Okay, so this is about test. Uh, now, like uh, uh, any like piece of advice you want to uh, give to the future aspirants, like uh, uh, like whatever you feel like, what they should do, uh, how many hours they should study, like and like what is the uh, like what is the pattern they should follow uh, to to crack uh, gate with flying colors as you did. What is that? What is the like one piece of advice you want to give uh, to the future aspirants? You can give. Uh, for me it was actually uh, i used to study with my friends uh, in a uh, meet every day at for last uh, one and a half months so mm-hmm. it was not that hectic for me or i didn't feel much uh, trouble at that time i mm-hmm. used to study with friends and discuss and everything so mm-hmm. it helped at the end uh, very much yeah because um, actually at the end uh, the stress is also a lot i think that helped you in stress stress management because yes, and in generally the stress will be a lot at the end so <laughs> yeah, yeah. studying with friends will be the best way yeah, yeah generally, generally with friends generally yeah. people feel like don't tend to feel that much stress so that yes, helped sir. you so did your friends get uh, good ranks as well <laughs> Uh, yes, sir. They made a little more mistakes. Uh, okay. So yeah, plan. it's uh, at the end. It's just about silly mistakes. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> okay, okay, great. So, what are you targeting to do now? Like, what's your what's your future aspirations? Uh, future aspiration. I am mostly looking forward for ISC courses and uh, mm-hmm. ITM courses. Uh, ITM uh, ITM Madras and ISC. You're not uh, thinking of Bombay. Uh, Bombay doesn't have a two-year course. That's why. Yeah, uh, specifically for yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but ISC has great offerings. Like uh, I think they are, they have forty yes, seats for M Tech and EI TA, and uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we I I really hope you get it. Uh, generally, like the I think they have mentioned that they will allow gate from CS and EE and EC as well. But they will. But what I know from previous years and uh, uh, what I talked about. they highly prefer uh, gate uh, da scores uh, so the cut off scores for gate da is lower than like uh, other branches so so by, right now they are taking other branches as well because da is not gate da is just started and in future years they will completely stop gate cs e students and uh, they will fill all the seats with gate da so it was yes, a good sir. decision to write gate da and uh, you will definitely get what you want like uh, in worst case if not iisc iit i'm definitely will get that is like final <laughs> yeah so but but iisc like one thing i visited the campus it's a beautiful place to be at like you will love the yes, vibe the environment and the placements are brilliant so good luck for that like the future <laughs> is bright thank you sir okay so this is all about your uh, uh preparation rank uh, and uh, like the few uh, future asp- uh, aspirations now if you want to give any like piece of advice to us like we are starting a new channel uh, so like so that we can improve further apart from the suggestions you already gave like if you want to suggest anything else 
uh, that mm. would help <laughs> yes sir uh, i would like to means uh, you give more courses on uh, other uh, ml fields like deep learning and other stuff yeah, yeah. which will help us that that will help you right like i i want advice so that that will help us <laughs> yeah like we we are targeting that so that's why we named the channel the ml hub uh, it's not just for gate da i got comments from many students like why like name the channel like gate da by javan sel or something like that but we don't want that like it's not a gate da specific channel right now we are focusing on that so that we have the best course there then like when we have time we will start uh, like advanced level ml courses as well like on an an nlp uh, state of the art like models like we will explain them uh, and uh, we will do such courses and youtube videos as well so i'm thinking of like uh, 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 explaining the research papers and like whatever like new comes i want to do that right now i don't have time i have to prepare the gate course but once that is done like i'll expand the horizon of this channel and uh, we will we will put like all sort of ml content here and we will have more courses related to fundamentals of ml and uh, advanced ml as well so that like i like i agree like just not the gate is, uh, students those who are targeting placements or they want, they just want to learn ml uh, they can get benefited as well so that's a good suggestion and uh, yeah we will work on it uh, after the gate uh, course is like perfect <laughs> okay uh, so i think yeah that's all like we wanted to hear from you harsh like uh, uh thanks for like joining in and stay in touch like uh, what like who knows in future like if you have time join us as maybe uh, uh yes, on this yeah. journey so you are you are saying yes then like i'll i'll contact yes, you if we need more educators <laughs> thank you sir thanks for that <laughs> okay then thanks sir have a great day uh bye bye